Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm C Tech Dude. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today, you guessed it, we're gonna be looking at a projector, and this is the Vivimage C480 projector. Vivimage was nice enough to reach out to me and ask me to review this unit for them, so here we are. Let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing, guys, and see what you get. So, let's get started. So this unit retails for about 80 bucks on Amazon, and first thing you're gonna notice, this thing is tiny. So look at that, very small. I like, I like it. It's got a nice gray matte finish and a black two-tone finish on the bottom. Not bad, so this uh, claims to support 1080p content, but the actual native resolution is 800 by 480, as you can see here on the lens. So it's gonna downscale the 1080p content to 480p, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But at $80, you can't really expect full HD 1080p support, but it would be nice, maybe in the near future when projectors get better and technology gets cheaper. So also in the box, you get an HDMI cable. Not bad, pretty sweet. And you get a little remote, cool. And you get power cable, thankfully no power brick. Just a just a nice little two-prong power cable. Very cool. And last but not least, you have an RCA cable for all the old school analog inputs you're gonna need. And then you have an instruction manual and a quick start guide. Cool, so I'm gonna put this box to the side because I don't need it anymore. So see you later box. So let's go over what this projector is gonna offer you. So on the side, you have a headphone slash speaker jack. You have the AV port where the RCA cable will plug in to convert your uh, red, yellow, white cable to this little AV adapter, so sweet. You also have a USB, actually two USB ports on the side here and an HDMI input. And also you have an SD card slot right there so you can play content off your SD card. Not bad. On the back you have that power button. You have the VivImage logo right here. And then a two prong power outlet, or two prong, two, two prong. Yeah, cool. And on the bottom, not much, you have a little kickstand, fold out like that, so you can prop it up. Very cool. And it looks like on the lens, you have vertical keystone correction and focus ring around the lens. So there you go. So yeah, very small unit, very cool. I'm excited to play with this thing. So let's go and get this set up. I'm gonna project it onto my screen that I have and I will move in to that room now. So here we go. Setting up this projector is super simple. Just plug in the power cable. Remove the lens cap. Plug in a device to the HDMI port. In my case, I'm using a Chromecast. And you can plug the Chromecast into the USB ports because they provide power. So that's pretty cool. Just make sure you flip it the right way. And there you go. And after that, just push the power button on the back. It'll fire up. It does have a little bit of fan noise. It's audible, it's not super loud though. And the speaker actually covers up the fan noise pretty well because the speaker gets pretty loud. I was actually impressed with it. And as mentioned previously, this does have vertical keystone correction. And you can adjust focus by twisting the lens. There's no lens shift, so placement options may be limited. Make sure that you uh, measure before you actually install the projector. And as you can probably tell, the speaker gets pretty loud. Colors out of the box look pretty decent. I would recommend adjusting them to your liking though. I'll put the settings that I used in the description below. All right, let's do this one last time. My name is Peter After watching a couple of movies on this projector, it actually looks to me pretty good. I tried it on my 120 inch screen, and it was a little. You could tell it wasn't 1080p for sure at that screen size. At a smaller screen size, I also tried about a 60 inch just on a bare wall. It actually looks really good. Um, the smaller you get, the better it's going to look. You can also hear the fan noise, how it uh, sounds without sound playing. Again, it's not bad at all.
I also tried playing some Fortnite on this projector and it looks and works just fine. There is some input lag, but if you're just playing casual games, it's going to be just fine for that. I did also want to mention that in order for the best results for this projector, you are going to want to use it in a dark room. Otherwise, the colors can look a little washed out if there's a lot of ambient light. So just want to mention that to you. So guys, after spending some time with this projector, you're probably wondering if I would recommend it to you. Well, the answer is, at the $80 price point, yes. This projector actually looks really good the smaller you go. Um, at a 60 inch, 70 inch screen size, I think it's highly recommended for that screen size. If you're gonna go higher, 100, 120 inch, you're gonna notice that this isn't full HD, uh, but overall, I would say, if you're gonna use this for spare bedroom, kid room, yeah, get it. Uh, for dedicated media room, maybe not. Uh, maybe spend a little more money on something a little higher resolution, but overall, guys, I'd really recommend this projector to you for casual TV, casual movie watching in a dark room. So that's my take on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Thanks again, Vivimage, for sending me this projector to review. I appreciate it. I'm always looking forward to testing new products. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I'm CE Tech 2. You just got CE Tech. Have a great day. See you next time. Thanks.